Alright, I'm just going to do a little quick tutorial on how to start off when you first download RPG Maker XP. First what you want to do is you want to go up here to this little bar. This is this part's optional. You click the events layer which is this little cube and you cho this is your starting point. You get it chooses where your person starts at the beginning of the game. Let's go ahead and put that up there for now. Now we want to go to layer 1. We go to this box and go over. It's layer 3, layer 2, layer 1. Now we're on layer 1. How layers work is when I put this water here on layer 1, if I take grass and put it there on layer 1 also, it will cover up the water completely. Now I put water back there. Now if I go to layer 2 and put grass there, it kind of does that. That's water's a bad example of it. Let's let's go trees. Trees on layer two. This tree is on layer two. Now I go to layer one and try to put grass over it. Because layer two is higher than layer one. It's not going to be covered by anything on layer one. Let's completely undo all that by pressing control Z. Oh, let me get rid of that. Okay. Now you want to start off with design your map. Whoops. You see, it does that if it's on layer one. You just click undo if you accidentally do that and go to layer two. And if you don't want it to dim like that when you go to a different layer, just press F4 or go to view and dim all other layers. Uncheck that box. Now, Put a, I'm going to put a few trees here. Layer 3 is even higher up than layer 2. So anything on layer 3 is above layer 2 and 1. But things on layer 3 will overlap things on layer 3. Same for 2 and 1. Alright, now that I'm done designing my map, let's make a teleport area to go to the next map. You want to give some kind of indicator that you want to go there if it's not too obvious. I'll just put, whoops, too close together. I'll just put that there. Now what we want to do is we want to go to the event layer again. Remember this little cube? And we want to click right in between these. Double click it, and this window should pop up. Just click apply and OK. Leave that for now. Now go over here to your little project folder. Right click it and click new map. Or click it and press insert and you can name it whatever you want. I'll name it Hoopin Garden La 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 It'll be grass. You can choose the width and the height of the things of the map but that's for later. And background music you can choose whatever you want. I'll just put Last Boss 1 It's pretty okay, but now I go here. Now what we have to do real quick is we have to go to layer one and select this grass over here. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. To select, you just click on something and to select more than one, just click and hold. All right, you want to click grass. You want to go to the fill fill tool up here. Flood fill. You want to click that and just flood everything. Now you want the door going back. Click back the pencil so you don't fill up the map with these. You want to click this little post. Whoops. On layer two. You want it to that that'll be to transport your character back. Let's put some decorations here. They're horrible decorations. I don't care. It's a thing. All right. Now you want to go back to map one. You're back at your map. Now click the event layer again. Now double click this box a little down there that we made earlier and go to this line and double click it. Now go to tab 2 and find the button that's at the very top in the first row it says transfer player and it says direct appointment. Now click this little side arrow and it will bring up a screen of your maps. See this is the map you are currently in. You can change the size of it for zoom. This is the map that you are currently in. Now go over and click my hoop and garden fa la 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 one. <laughs> now double click 